Alright, so what's up y'all and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been long. But nevertheless, I am back, y'all. I'm back, I'm back. I have finished my first semester of college. Your girl got, I can't say honor roll because, you know, they don't do that in college. But your girl got A's and B's in every class. So I'm so glad I finished my first semester of college on a great note. But anyway, as you can see by the title, this is the Christian Girl Tag. And so um i'm coming back with my college vlogs and stuff like that but um like i said i was it was my first semester it was a little hard to vlog all the time but i'm coming back i promise um i have some good stuff coming some empowering stuff some fun stuff some serious stuff some crazy stuff whatever um my channel is not dead i promise it's coming back it's coming back but anyway let's dive right into this video and if you're not subscribed, make sure you click that subscribe button. We almost got 3K family members, okay? We coming up, we coming up. But yeah, y'all make sure y'all subscribe and let's get right into this video. So the first question in this tag is, how long have you been saved? And when did I become saved? Okay, so I got, I've been saved for five years. Um, oh, Thank God. <laughs> I've been saved for five years and I got saved I think it was January of 2013 was it it was it was 2013 I was in church with it. I was so nervous like but I don't know I just felt like this this pull like this pull like I don't know what it was I just it was I was very passionate about it I just wanted to do something different um I always believed in God but I was like I didn't really understand it I just wanted something deeper so yeah I've been saved for like five years y'all but that don't mean I'm perfect like I still make mistakes but it's not even about that you know what I'm saying it's about having a personal relationship um allowing God to restore you and to literally just you follow his path and his lead and stuff you know what I'm saying like it's not what you want to do anymore it's what he wants and what he wants is always the best so I was like listen I've been saved for five years and I've been doing well y'all I mean oh my god like whew. yes okay <laughs> question number two is asking what is your favorite bible verse and what does it mean to you so my favorite bible verse is Romans 8 and 28 and that is and we know that all things work together for the good of them who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. That will forever be my favorite, favorite scripture. Because even when I'm going through my tests and my trials and stuff like that, I can always reflect back on that. Like, God, I know you're going to use this for my good. God, I know you can turn this around. You know what I'm saying? God, I know you're going to allow this situation to better me in some way, shape, or form. So that is my favorite scripture. All things work together for the good of those who love him. So if you love him, just know your situation is bound to be turned around no matter what it looks like. So that is my favorite scripture. Question number three, what is my favorite Christian song and why? So I don't have a favorite. Oh my God, I listen to gospel all day long. You know, I listen to hip hop and pop sometimes, you know, but um, my favorite, I don't have a favorite, but I can tell y'all like my top three, like my first one would probably be um, I don't even have a favorite, but my fa my the main three that I always listen to will probably be like Tasha Cobb's I'm Getting Ready. That song has blessed my whole 2017, okay? <laughs> because 2017 was definitely a year of um, Kiara Sheard, um, Kiki, that's my girl, y'all, Kiki. Um, her song, Free. I love that song and indescribable. I love that song and desire as well. Listen, I'm going all up. You see, I, I can't, y'all. I just got a lot. I can tell you my three artists that I love: Tasha, Kiki, and um, probably Anthony Brown. But yeah, I got a lot. I don't know. Can't really answer that one. Question number four is asking, "What is my favorite thing about church?" So it used to be worship, praise and worship, um, singing and all that. But now it's more so the word, like. Um, the deeper I got um, into Christ, into uh, my prayer life and Jesus and stuff like that, I was more so concerned about the word rather than the songs we sung. Because you can sing all you want, but if your life is not changing, that's an issue. So um, 
it's the word the word what what are you preaching that's going to help me in life you know what i'm saying how is this going to better me how is this going to fix my situation how is this going to encourage me so my favorite part is the word because um once you take it and apply it things change so yeah question number five i often get this a lot um how am i um so open with my faith so like i'm not gonna throw deep jesus de de <laughs> i'm not gonna throw jesus down your throat um this is something myself, even like before I got saved and all that, like I always believed in God, like, you know, but it was never on this level. And so um, I'm so open with it because if he did it for me, like he can do it for you. Like um, I was 13 years old talking about, I just want to live for Jesus. Like 13 girl, what you talk about? You ain't, what you mean? And, but it was just a passion that I had. It was like burning on the inside. Like I have to get to know him for myself. You know what I'm saying? And so I'm so open with it because it's not even about um, just, oh, get to know Jesus, get to know Jesus. It's about like inspire a lot of those that are lost and confused because I was there before. I was lost, confused, broken, didn't understand a lot of stuff that was going on. So I said, you know what? What is this Jesus everybody talking about? You know what I'm saying? Let me get to know him for myself. And so I had decided, I said, you know what? Let me, you know, let me do this myself. You know what I'm saying? So I got to know God. I started praying more. I started fasting. I started doing a lot of things. And so as I started doing that, God started blessing me and he started speaking to me. And I just allowed him to literally take over my whole life. I said, God, it's in your hands, you do it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm so open with it because it's a testimony and the testimony is what helps people. And that's what a lot of us fail to realize. We keep our mouth shut when we are going through, but if we would just speak and allow people to know, you'd be surprised how many people are going through that same thing that you can help. I went through a heartbreak before and I met um, a friend on my college campus she she goes to church and stuff but she wasn't as she just went to church and it's the difference between going to church and being involved she went to church or whatever and she's like um she was going through a heartbreak or whatever and thank god i had already went through that so i was able to help her and so now she calls me and she says girl i'm so glad she said i'm doing this now i'm doing this i feel this way i feel good i'm out here doing this and i'm like that's all it's, that's what it's about and i'm like girl i'm so happy for you it's about growth and helping one another so when you get in a relationship with god and allow him to take over everything your life will change for the better and that's not going to say that we're not going to have hard times or whatever but you're going to see a change and it's always going to be for the better you look at it from a different pers perspective so that's how i'm so open with it because i want people to get to know that it's nothing deep or spooky it's a life-changing experience so yeah i'm all going in but yeah and then the last question question number six i think five or six is asking <laughs> If I was to meet Jesus right now, what would I say or do? I'd just cry. I don't think I would have anything to say. I would just be like, I don't know. Like, I would just bust out crying, like, just thank you. <laughs> like, I would just thank him. I would just hug him so tightly. I wouldn't even have words. Like, my tears would express literally everything. I would just cry, cry, cry. I would just i don't know like what what would you do if you met jesus like if he just came knocking on your door like it's me like i i wouldn't know what to do wouldn't know what to do but that is the end of this little mini q a um i decided i just throw this out there so y'all know i'm still here i'm still going um if y'all don't follow me on snapchat um make sure you do that she's so short add your girl on snap and follow me on instagram it's nay b i t s n a e b all of that will be in my description and i just pray that 2018 be a happy and prosperous year for everybody i'm coming back with some more stuff so stay tuned and i will catch y'all in my next video <laughs> bye guys